If I were to, you know, the saying behind every famous or great man, there is a equally great woman, that would be their situation. He made, she made him look really good. She kept him exact, she, she was the, I think, be, the power behind the throne, so to speak, um, and he knew it. My name is Cynthia Bellavo and I'm the Dean of Continuing and Distance Education here at the University of Vermont and I manage the, the Aiken Lecture Series and have for 20 years. I first met Lola at the Capitol Diner in Montpelier where she hung out and she would hold court with, again, different all different walks of life and they met every morning and I was introduced to her because she is the keeper of the George Aiken flame and very much devoted to him. And she was an amazing encyclopedia of, of all things. Because she was his secretary, she kept all of his, his appointments. She knew everyone. She could talk at length about every single, from the Cuban Missile Crisis to the Vietnam War. She could tell you about the politics of all the wives. She just knew everything. But she was, as I said, the encyclopedia. And um, when anybody had anything to say with, about George, she would correct it. She would add more to the story. Um, she was very much, as I said, the curator of his life. And we all depended on that for, for further information. But the thing that was amazing about her is that, is, is that she was so, again, so individually focused as well as trying to keep the legacy going. So she would send um, thank you notes to every single person who helped with the Aiken Lecture Series. Handwritten, beautiful handwriting, that sort of secretarial script would, would be, there would be detail in it so that it wasn't just some pro forma th sort of thing. She put, she would name you and she would talk about what you actually did. The other piece about Lola is that she was only about, I don't know, maybe four or five, like she was this tiny little thing. But her energy level, and she wore those big black glasses, when she would get up every single Aiken lecture, she would, <clears throat> we'd watch this little woman going up the stairs to get to the podium, we'd have to bring the mic down for her. And she would talk at length about, about George, but she also would talk about what the series was doing, who the different speakers were. She had a lot to say about who we should bring in. Um, it was just like this amazing thing to, to watch the historical connection between all that George had done and then for her life, her long life to be still represented in that. Really miss her, um, miss her perspective and I certainly try to keep the torch going.